Hello, I'm Savannah Dorset, a librarian with Houston Public Library, and welcome to Book Chat, which, just like it sounds, means we're going to be talking about books. In honor of 2020 being the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which gave women the right to vote in the United States, the Houston Public Library, the League of Women Voters, and the University of Houston Friends of Women's Studies have launched the Suffrage Centennial Book Club. Every month in the year 2020, there will be readings from a selection of books and suggestions for films to watch that reflect on the role of women in the United States, women's suffrage, and then just larger themes of the importance of voting and being an active and engaged community member. Our title for the month of June is Sue Monk Kids, The Invention of Wings, which is a historical fiction title. It was published in 2014, but it's about real people, Sarah and Angelina Grimke, who were sisters who lived in the 19th century and were suffragists and abolitionists and they sort of defied the gender roles and expectations of the day by traveling the country extensively, speaking, writing, lecturing, and advocating for the right for women to vote, and also speaking against the evils of slavery. Not only did this defy the expectations for women of the day, but it also defied the expectations of their family and caused a lot of family conflict as their father himself was a wealthy plantation owner in South Carolina. And in the book, we follow Sarah Grimke as she sort of slowly awakens to the evil going on around her and that the suffering of people on her father's plantation allows her to live this life of wealth and privilege and her realization that she can do something about it, that she has ideas worth sharing and opinions of her own, and her growth and confidence as a speaker and advocate and abolitionist. And her story is paralleled with that of one of the slaves on her family's plantation, Hetty, who is also an incredibly strong, principled, and brave person and her struggle to keep her sense of dignity and her sense of identity and self-worth in these incredibly horrific situ circumstances. The two of them have a really interesting parallel relationship and sometimes they're very close to each other and sometimes they have a very acrimonious, tense relationship, but throughout the whole book they're both incredibly strong, complicated, multifaceted characters this is a great read for fans of historical fiction who love books with a strong sense of place, with rich period detail, who love their characters who are complex, complicated, maybe even at times frustrating. So I would say this is a great read for fans of Alice Hoffman's The Marriage of Opposites or Charles Frazier's Cold Mountain, or Isabella Allende's Daughter of Fortune. And if reading this book makes you want to learn more about the Grimke sisters and their contributions to history and the abolitionist and suffragist movements, you're in luck. Many of their papers are available through the Houston Public Library uh, with Project Gutenberg. You can access Sarah Grimke's Letters on the Equality of the Sexes, and Angelina's An Appeal to Christian Women of, in the South. And if that makes you want to learn even more about the Grimke sisters and suffragists and early American history, you're in luck. Houston Public Library has some really great databases, including JSTOR and Academic Search Complete, which give you full text access to tons of peer-reviewed journal articles. And I will also add that the year 2020 is a census year. So just a quick plug, if you have not yet done so, please, please, please visit census.gov and sign up your household for the U.S. Census because everyone counts. And if 
you want to contact the Houston Public Library about more books to read or about navigating our databases, we're here for you. You can contact us via chat, email reference, telephone reference, visit our website, click on get a custom book list, and we will send you a list of titles based on your likes and interests. So if you are hankering after historical fiction or you binge on biographies, we've got you covered. This has been Book Chat. I'm Savannah Dorset. See you next time.